Let's look at how to get confusion matrix in TensorFlow using the tf.math library. First, we'll create two tensors. Uh, let's say this is y true has the true values for what are predictions we are trying to make, and we'll uh, put those predictions uh, for the true values. We'll have let's see the values zero, comma one, comma one, comma zero. 1 and 0. So these are the true values. And let's create a couple of predicted values. Uh, some of them would be the same as the true values, some of them would not be. So we can change, let's change the first value to 1, uh, the second value to 0, the third value can be accurate as is, fourth, and so on. So we have uh, these values, the last four values, those are predicted correctly uh, the first two values are predicted incorrectly so now we can go ahead and create confusion matrix around this for that we'll use tf.math.confusion underscore matrix and here we'll specify labels is equal to y underscore true so those are the actual true values ground truth and for predictions predictions we use y underscore pred now we can print the value of z uh, let's convert this to a numpy array and run this and hopefully so here we see the confusion matrix uh, where we have the diagonal elements which are the uh, correct predictions and then we have the off diagonal elements which are the incorrect predictions why don't we add another label let's try adding a two and a two here and let's uh, add a two and another two and let's maybe add another value there just for sake of it we have three tools so the confusion matrix that we would get now is going to be a three by three matrix uh, like so and again why don't we do this we change this to let's change this to two so we have three of those values that are correct the reason why uh, we i was trying to get those is uh, to kind of check uh, the order uh, the tensor flow is in so the these two values the two correct values which are uh, for uh, uh, those would be the zeros so two zeros so this is the correct prediction of zero right here and this is the correct prediction of zero if we were to add one two three if you were to add more zeros there and let's say those are the we'll make them as the correct predictions for zeros so the value for zero would appear as the first value on the top left corner the values for the twos would appear here on the bottom right corner and then uh, this would be the values for the rest of the values. so we have zero one and two so this is five for zero one for correct predictions of one and three for correct predictions of two and then we have the off diagonal elements as we can see here so that's how the confusion matrix can be uh, created using the tensorflow math library if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video thank you so much